Hi, this is James with The Black Sheep Reports. Now to start this video off, I want to clarify that by no means do I want police officers dead. What happened in Dallas, Texas is a shame. But people need to understand the situation that we're living in in this country. But this video isn't about Blue Lives Matter or Black Lives Matter. Not even All Lives Matter. Because the fact is, no lives matter. We are living in a police state. and a police state, no lives matter. You know you have a problem when you have police being weaponized. I live about just 15 to 20 minutes away from Ferguson, Missouri. What happened there goes way past the case of police brutality. You had straight, militarized vehicles, MRAPs on the street. The police using tear gas to stop protesters, even though the Geneva Convention says countries can't use tear gas in war. But the government thinks it's perfectly fine to use it on citizens. Journalists being shot with rubber bullets simply for reporting on the news. Is this what we call freedom? When, you can be sh when a journalist can just be shot with a rubber bullet for simply reporting on news on an important event that's happening? Now, of course, this goes, this doesn't mean that all cops are bad. Cop, you know, cops are important. St. Louis has such a high crime rate, whether that be with heroin or meth being in the streets, or simply we are one of the highest murder rates. So we need cops more than ever. But what about accountability? See, when a terrorist makes an attack, the government tries to blame Islam as the problem. Now, they say, well, why don't more Muslims speak out against radical Islam in these attacks? Even though countless have, let's use that same logic. Why on earth doesn't more police officers come out and say, hey, what this officer did is unacceptable. And that is not how all officers are. I don't want anyone killed. You know, I don't want an African-American killed in front of his daughter or a white mentally ill man killed by a police officer while crying for his dad to help. I don't want a man choked out for simply selling a cigarette. I don't want a law-abiding, gun-owning citizen to be get shot by the police for simply having a firearm. But I also don't want cops getting gunned down in the streets for simply doing their job. Trying to make sure everything goes right. These cops have families to get back to. Love their loved ones that care about them. And some of them didn't make it. And that's truly sad. Two wrongs don't make a right. Not all activists are killers. And not every cop is a killer. You know, I just hope more cops will start to speak up against police brutality. And maybe then we can work for a better tomorrow. Last, I want to talk about Mark Hughes and how screwed up the media is. The media played non-stop photos of this man for a good hour, saying he's a person of interest. I remember watching Fox News with my girlfriend, and for an hour they kept showing this man. He was holding his gun properly. He was just marching in the protest peacefully. Why was this man a person of interest? Well, oh my god, he had a gun. Even though the fact is, it's Texas. Damn near everyone has guns to protect herself. What happened when shots went off? This man and his brother gave their weapons to the police and asked if there's anything they can do to help. Just to find out 30 minutes later that he was on the news and he, he's a person of interest, so he turned himself in. The cops interrogated him, blamed him for everything, told him that he they had proof and witnesses. But of course, he was 100% innocent. But because the media wants to jump the gun, now this man is getting death threats. He didn't do anything wrong. And he did everything he was supposed to do. The media is 100% re responsible for what happened to this man. This man should have 
shouldn't have any inconvenience or fees. He should be able to get his firearms back because, again, he did everything he was supposed to do. This is James Hendricks with The Black Sheep Reports. Subscribe if you're new. The links are below. And don't forget to check us out on Facebook. Our page is Media on 9-11. Thank you.